Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 6 amazing upcoming 2024 Adventure Touring Bikes first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda drops big CRF 1100L Africa Twin upgrades for 2024. All versions of the Africa Twin have received updates for 2024 with visual, mechanical, and performance improvements across the range. The legendary Honda Africa Twin is receiving updates ready for 2024, with changes to both the CRF 1100L and the higher spec Adventure Sports Edition. The changes for the coming year focus on styling, practicality, performance, and technology. With two bikes and a number of submodels getting updated on this one, we'll focus first on the updates that affect all the models, then drill down into the finer points of each updated machine. 2024 Honda Africa Twin updates applicable to both versions. Still instantly recognizable as an Africa Twin, the new bike's updates center around the front fairing and while they do alter the aesthetic they are also aimed at improving long-distance comfort and helping to incorporate the 5 position. Adjustable screen The 1084 cubic centimeters engine has also received updates for this year and boasts changes to the intake, combustion, and exhaust to produce more low and mid-range torque and a 7% increase of peak torque meaning 112 newton meters 82.6 foot pounds is now available. Peak power for both the CRF 1100L and the Adventure Sports remains the same as before at 75 kilowatts or 100.5 brake horsepower. Honda has also fettled the DCT system of the bikes and the focus was on matching the DCT shifting schedules to the new torque delivery, but also improving the ride ability and feel of the system. The shifting schedules have been tweaked to facilitate earlier downshifts, and also better detect when the bike is taking a corner to try and prevent those mid-turn changes that some earlier DCT systems could be prone to. Honda has also worked to make the first initial opening of the throttle, when the DCT system first engages. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. With five-time Enduro World Champ Antoine Mio winning the Twin Cylinder class, so it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250mm at the front and 240mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 millimeters. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-rear wheel. 
but the rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, Excel rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before. Visually, the Desert X Rally is recognizable by its striking, predominantly red livery, its one-piece Enduro-inspired seat, and its forged carbon fiber sump guard. It also gets adjustable CNC machine brake and gear levers. The Desert X Rally shares the Desert X's 937 cubic centimeters twin-cylinder Testostretta engine, good for 110 horsepower at 9,250 rpm and 92 newton meters at 6,500 rpm. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cool boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology. With intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 rpm. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available, resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a 6-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. This change in packaging allowed BMW to create a more compact unit, as well as focus on lowering the center of gravity and further centralizing mass. In total, BMW says it reduced engine weight by 8.6 pounds and powertrain weight in general by 14.3 pounds as compared to the previous GS. The chassis. BMW also completely redesigned the frame when composing the R1300 GS, opting for what it calls a sheet metal shell main frame and die-cast aluminum rear section design. The rear section of the frame was previously made of tubular steel, but the redesigned frame in its entirety is significantly stiffer and offers more precise handling characteristics according to the motor ad. The suspension consists of a new Evo telelever design up front, along with a revised Evo paralever design in the rear. These revisions result in more precise steering up front, along with increased traction in the rear. Brakes consist of a pair of radially mounted 4-piston calipers and 310mm brake discs up front, along with a single 2-piston floating caliper and a 285mm disc in the rear. Both Integral ABS Pro and Dynamic Brake Control come as standard features on the 2024 R1300 GS, and Integral ABS Pro operates both the front and the rear brake at the same time. The NT1100, whose combination of performance, comfort, functionality, elegant styling and excellent value for money made it the best-selling touring bike in Europe in 2023. 
receives two striking new color updates for the 2024 model year. To add to its comprehensive appeal, matte blue jeans metallic and candy chromosphere red join the ever-popular matte iridium gray metallic in the NT1100 lineup. With all three colors featuring a new matte ballistic black metallic rear rack. Since its introduction to the European range in 2022, more than 12,000 NT1100S have been sold. With more than 66% of customers choosing the option of Honda's exclusive dual-clutch transmission. To ensure that the NT1100 rider can have their bike exactly the way they want it, three dedicated accessories are available that improve comfort and functionality over long distances. Available individually or in three dedicated packs urban, Touring and Voyage the accessories include a 50L top box, fog lights and a comfortable seat. The 2024 Honda NT1100 has been launched, with two new colors and an update to one of the existing paint jobs. Since its launch in 2022, the Honda NT1100 has been sold in over 12,000 units across Europe and the 2024 model year will see the third iteration of what, in 2023, was the best-selling touring motorcycle in Europe. Fundamentally, the only changes for 2024 on the Honda NT1100 are two new paint options, and a change to the existing, matte iridium gray metallic, color, which gets a Matte Ballistic Black Metallic Rear Carrier That same rear carrier color is present on the two new for 2024 colors, which are Matte Jeans Blue Metallic and Candy Chromosphere Red. Other than the paint choices, the bike remains the same as that which has proven so successful in Europe over the past two years. Centered around the 1084cc parallel twin-cylinder engine producing 100 brake horsepower and 77 foot-pounds steel semi-double cradle frame. An aluminium subframe that the NT1100 shares with the Honda CRF1100L Africa Twin. Suspension is provided by Showa in the form of 43mm front forks and a single tube pressurized rear shock both giving 150mm of wheel travel. To the two 17-inch wheels are fitted two 310mm discs at the front with four piston radial calipers and a single 256mm rear disc with a single piston caliper. And braking is also assisted via ABS. Other electronics include throttle by wire TBW, which manages engine performance and character, Honda selectable torque control HSDC, and wheelie control. These assists are managed via three preset selectable riding modes, urban rain, tour. There are also two user tunable modes. Honda's dual clutch automatic transmission system is also available as an option. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think.
Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the six-speed gearbox. Twenty twenty four Kawasaki KLR six fifty ABS Adventure Keep Comfortable. The KLR650 takes comfort and touring potential to the next level while maintaining the highly acclaimed reliability of its predecessor. Optimized frame strength and rigidity, under the seat rubber dampers, rubber mounted handlebars and foot pegs all contribute to maximum comfort and carrying capacity for long distance touring. Comfort is king. Increase your riding comfort by combating wind and weather with the tall to position adjustable windshield. The optimized handlebar and foot peg positions with rubber mounts provide a relaxed riding position with low engine vibration for maximum comfort. For those long rides, you'll enjoy the rubber dampened comfort seat with a tapered shape and supple seat cover for maximum bump absorption and ride comfort. Carry on, pack all your essentials with the large aluminum rear carrier and available accessory side and top cases complete with a convenient one key system. Generous generator capacity offers 80 watts of power, with an output of 26A, to meet the power needs of grip heaters, fog lamps and other electrical accessories. Perfect for your next extended adventure. The KLR650 Adventure ABS model is built from the standard KLR650 platform and designed for the adventurer who is looking for increased carrying capacity and convenience and features several Kawasaki. Genuine accessory parts. It comes equipped with factory installed side cases, LED auxiliary light set, engine guards, tank pad, and both DC power outlet and USB socket. It also comes equipped with ABS. The 2024 KLR650 Adventure ABS is available in two colorways with pearl matte sage green and metallic matte twilight blue. The Kawasaki KLR650 Adventure ABS adds standard saddlebags, fog lamps, frame sliders, and DC and USB sockets to the KLR650 that not only add convenience but enhance its capability for long-distance adventures. While the comfortable riding position and large fuel tank allows long-distance travel, its long travel suspension provides the versatility to accommodate off-road excursions as well as the daily commute. The KLR650 Adventure ABS is one capable partner that is ready to take riders anywhere they wish to go and on whatever roads they wish to travel. Kawasaki announces fall release of 2024 street motorcycles. No matter what type of motorcycle you're looking for, Kawasaki's 2024 lineup has the model for you as it welcomes the return of several retro sport, hyper naked, super naked, mini naked, hyper sport. Super sport, sport, retro classic cruisers, adventure touring, and dual sport models to its street motorcycle lineup. These 2024 model year motorcycles are set to arrive in Kawasaki dealerships during the fall months so that riders can continue to
Let the good times roll.